here with y'all tonight, especially so because I am like the biggest Christian music fan pretty much on the planet. Do we have any other Christian music fans here tonight? We are all in the right place then. I'm so honored to be out with three truly of my favorite artists, with Carrollton, who y'all are gonna hear in a little bit, and Unspoken coming up soon, and Jason Gray, y'all. We are so excited to be here tonight and um, honored that you would come and join us. So thank you for spending your evening with us. We are so excited to see all God's gonna do here tonight. We've been praying for this evening specifically for a long time, so thank you. We can't wait to see all God has for all of us together. Um, amen. Um, I. So I went to Moody Bible Institute for college uh, to study Bible translation. We have like one Moody person that clapped. Yes. <laughs> Not Moody is in your Moody, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Very confusing school name. So I went there for college to study Bible translation and uh, majored in applied linguistics, which makes me sound a lot smarter than I am. <laughs> Don't be deceived. And uh, you may have noticed by now that I do not have a job in the field in which I hold a degree, much to my parents' dismay. <laughs> but even though I'm not translating the Bible into a different language, my goal through songwriting is still to translate the Bible into the language of the heart, into music, and into songs, and uh, amen. So this next song comes out of Matthew 14, and you've probably heard the story before, but uh, it's a dark and stormy night. This huge storm is rolling in, and Peter and a couple of his friends are out on this little fishing boat out on the Sea of Galilee, and, and Peter looks out through the wind and the rain coming down and the waves crashing, and he sees his friend Jesus walking towards them on top of the water. And they're all freaked out. They think it's a ghost, but Peter's like, no, I, I think it's Jesus. And, and so he just screams out through the storm, Jesus, if that's you, then call me out to you. And Jesus is completely aware of what's about to happen. He already knows. So he says, okay, man, come on out. So Peter's pumped. He's hoping all his friends are watching. That's what I would be doing. <laughs> and he gets maybe three, maybe four steps out on the water. And then he realizes the reality of the situation is he is 100% completely not in control. Has anyone else ever had that realization? Yeah. And the thing that Jesus offers Peter in that moment is the same thing he offers you and me in the middle of our storms. It's not that we need the storm taken away. Jesus reached out and he grabbed Peter's hand and he said, oh, you have little faith. Why did you doubt? He's the creator of the heavens and the earth. And he's the one who allows these storms into our lives. And he's also the creator of our fragile hearts. And he allows no storm but to prove that he is with us and he's sovereign, and he's leading us through. So this is called Take My Hand. I heard you say it, I know you did. You called me out into the waves and wind. And for a moment, I was praying. Oh 
Just need you to take my 